We're now officially into the second half of the year, and new games keep flooding onto Kickstarter. This July is one of the strongest months we've seen this year, and we can't wait to share our top 5 with all of you. But just before we do, let's see how June's Kickstarter projects fared in the funding game. Last month we showed you Zed, Fable Fortune, Transmission, Sorion, and Moonlighter. Both Sorion and Moonlighter smashed their funding goals raising more than 3 and 4 times their target goals respectively. Zeb was also successful in its campaign hitting its 48k mark. Unfortunately, Transmission and Fable Fortune were unsuccessful with both projects falling well short of their funding aim. But enough of June, let's get to July's top 5 games on Kickstarter. We begin with Eichenfell, an RPG that mixes Hogwarts with Earthbound. Eichenfell is a magical school for witches and wizards, and after her older sister Safina goes missing there, Marite goes looking for her. As Marite, you'll learn magic and explore the wonders of Eichenfell, and if you get to the bottom of the mystery, you'll uncover its horrors too. The game features a combination of time-based and turn-based combat, each of which are lovingly animated. Its story is a key focus and is driven by zany characters and their dialogue. Music and sound are being handled by Avi and Surashu, the talented duo behind the music of Steven Universe. Eichenfell looks like a JRPG you'd play on your Game Boy in the 90s with a dash of popular fantasy literature from the same decade. Next up is Fox and Forests, another throwback, this time honouring the 80s and the delightful platformers it brought. What's most notable about Fox and Forests is that the art, animations, music and sound are all on point. From afar, it's easily one of the best looking retro recreations of recent memory, right up there with the Shovel Knight and Douglas Circumstance. It's not all Antiques Roadshow however, as the ability to change the seasons adds a modern twist. Just like swapping between the world of the living and the world of the dead in Guacamole, swapping the seasons rearranges the composition of a level and reveals new paths. For instance, turning to winter can freeze water and provide an icy passage, while swapping to spring can grow vegetation and offer a new platform to jump to. With 4 weeks to go, Fox and Forest has 75,000 more euros left to raise. Wizard of Legend is a slick and fast-moving dungeon crawler. Every year, a council of magic folk conjure up a random set of dungeons known as the Chaos Trials. Thou who can conquer the test is crowned the Wizard of Legend. To be legendary, you'll need to be quick, as staying a step ahead of your enemies is the key to combat. With Arcana Trump cards, you'll be able to cast spells of all kinds of elemental varieties, as well as look fairly badass. Items found in the dungeons give extra boosts, such as walking over lava. Wizard of Legend can be played with a mate too, whether that be in a more challenging co-op mode, or against each other in a match to the death. There is no shortage of indie roguelikes nowadays, but the speed and pizzazz of Wizard of Legend have got us excited for this project. Already funded, Wizard of Legend is slated for a January release. System Shock is a complete remake of the 1994 classic that inspired modern classics like Deus Ex, Bioshock and Dead Space. Using audio logs and notes placed within its world, System Shock was able to do away with cutscenes and revolutionise storytelling in video games. Fans have not forgotten its impact and have already raised more than a million dollars to fund the game. It's quite an amazing turn of events considering original developer Looking Glass lost money on the original project. One thing you may be asking is, who is behind this reboot? The answer to that is Night Dive Studios. 
formed in 2012, Night Dive have made a living out of attaining the rights to old games, updating them and releasing them on today's platforms. System Shock is going to be a total remaster from the ground up, but it's good to see Night Dive has a solid track record. They also have the blessings of some of the original developers, including producer Warren Spector. We've seen a lot of games pop up on Kickstarter over the last couple of years. Some are good, fewer are great, and then on the rare occasion you see something really special. Pray for the Gods hits that mark. It's beautiful, eerie and powerful, and incredibly the work of just three developers. The game features enemies so giant you can climb them. A lot of games have tried to replicate the overwhelming scale of Shadow of the Colossus infamous bosses but none evoke that same feeling of resonance as well as Pray for the Gods seemingly does. It's not just some Colossus remaster either, it has its own icy flavour and a significant dose of salvage and survival gameplay. Changing weather traps a player into constant peril and makes exploration a high stakes game of risk and reward. Pray for the Gods seems to be a knockout in every category and we're bloody excited for it. With three weeks to go, it's 80k away from its 300k target. Well that's it folks, thanks for watching, my name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh, we'll see you next time here on Indieformer. <laughs>